In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Aurora Style Fountain Pen. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a writing sample, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this pen coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. This is the Aurora style fountain pen. Here I have it in black and matte black rather in rose gold. And this is a very affordable fountain pen from Aurora coming in under the price of the Aurora Ypsilon, but same nib, feed, and section. So I think this is a really good value and it's a very good looking pen overall. And for me, this is Kind of a special pen. The first ever like quote unquote nice pens that I had was a gift from my parents in middle school and it was a set of two Aurora styles. Now it was a ballpoint and a rollerball not a fountain pen but I just remember using those and just to be honest beating them up and, and using them so so much but I've since lost those years ago <laughs> but this is my personal one and I've been using this quite a lot in the last couple months, and I really, really like it. Basically, all the, the benefits of the Aurora Ypsilon are here. For the most part, it's just a cheaper price, and it's a different look. I think this is maybe more pleasing to some than the Aurora Ypsilon, especially the more shapely resin ones versus like the, the metal ones. Anyway, I really like this pen and I love that they, they still make it and I think it still looks kind of unique and special. So let's walk through the pen. We have a matte resin body here. However, it does come with shiny plastic as standard or resin rather. I don't know what difference it's. Resin is a type of plastic. Walking through the pen. Up at the top here, we have a chiseled tip, which I think is probably the most distinctive feature of this pen. On the finial, we have a Aurora logo and I'll just show you um, a box here just so you can see that Aurora logo shape. It's kind of similar there. And interestingly, well, on the metal one, they do not have that. And this is actually maybe more reminiscent of the one that I had when I was a kid. Mine was a like brushed steel, all brushed steel. And I remember the finial looking a bit more like that. So it is different. You'll also notice that the cap rings are different on this rose gold capped one, we have a much thinner cap band that says Aurora, and then of course they say Italy on the back. Those are just some really minor differences. You'll notice how the, the cap, or the clip rather, goes all the way to the top of the pen, whereas on the metal ones, it does not. And you'll just notice it's a little bit thinner, the cap is, however, the bodies are exactly the same. So some interesting minor differences there between the metal version and the resin version or metal cap version rather. This is I believe $108 and this is around $90. And we do carry these at the paper mine. We are proudly a Aurora dealer now. So for Blake's broadcast viewers and subscribers, you can get 10% off with code BB10 at checkout. Now going to the clip, this is maybe my favorite feature in terms of the design. We have this really nice shapely clip. I, I think it looks really good. The side profile, it rounds over and then it dips in the middle and it comes out kind of lifting up at the end. I think it looks really good and it looks, you know, I think very high quality. Cap ring again, single cap ring, says Aurora. Italy on the back, nothing on the bottom there. There is kind of a little mark here where probably the, the machine that, that makes these likely by injection molding would have secured onto the pen there. The matte finish does show some scratches, which I think they will show up. So I honestly like that. It's part of the patina, but if that bothers you, definitely go for the the shiny you know, body version. And they do make an all resin in shiny colors. A uh, lot of different colors in this pen. You can have it also with silver trim if you don't like the rose gold or the gold trim. So a lot of options there. And I, I do like that we get different finishes, but I, I, my favorite, at least for now, is this matte finish. Although I do think that rose gold cap is pretty nice looking. Shape-wise, it does taper towards this sort of like chiseled end here. 
and then it gets progressively fatter almost right to the cap ring and then the cap ring kind of angles down towards the body of the pen and again we kind of taper towards the tail here so looks quite nice now the grip section is the same grip section that you get in on aurora epsilon it's a very comfortable section there's a lot of places to grip and i like this little raised sort of ring on the end there which tells you uh oh you're getting too you're about to get too close to the the nib and feed so that you don't get your hands inky so that's really nice we do have two seams on the side here and while in use you they were not going to bother you you're not going to feel them but if you look for them you can feel them it's not polished in the same way that a aurora optima or 88 is where there's you know more hand finishing you're not going to find a seam on their section now looking at the nib this is aurora's sort of smaller nib i will say i think it works well with these pens and the way that they kind of taper to a point i think looks pretty nice so as a comparison this is a standard lamy nib so i would say they're roughly the same size you know the aurora one has more of a shape it tapers in as it goes to like the, the the section so about the same size as a standard lamy nib not the biggest nib but i think it, it works well with this pen it doesn't look too small in my opinion and we have a sort of like a, a line that kind of it almost looks like to me almost like the shape of a nib and then it sort of has like a curly q kind of on the end and we can see extra fine because this is an extra fine nib and it's an aurora it says aurora this is the rose gold finish but they do silver and they do regular gold um, and these nibs are interchangeable they pull straight out it's not the easiest to get them out but they do come out and they are interchangeable and you could if you wanted to put like an italic gold nib or any of the other standard nib grades in gold onto this pen i don't believe that they are sold individually though like the regular aurora optima nibs so you would probably have to buy the pen that you want and if you did that you would really probably just want to change the section most likely because they're as far as i know i they're all interchangeable uh at least the ypsilon and the style have interchangeable sections so just interesting that there's options there now this is a cartridge converter pen, and in here I have an Aurora cartridge, which are these big king-size cartridges. They're really nice. Uh, it does take a proprietary cartridge and converter filling system. And unfortunately, uh, with the style, unlike the Ypsilon, you do not get a converter in the package and the aurora converter costs around 20 dollars so it's not the cheapest converter either i don't know why it costs so much but it, it is what it is in terms of posting this pen posts quite nicely it's very comfortable we have a nice snap cap it's just an excellent everyday writer now let's compare it to some other pens here and we can kind of come in and then do some measurements in terms of price if i didn't already mention it 90 for the regular and 108 for the rose gold cap version here it is with an aurora ypsilon the ypsilon is a little bit more expensive of a pen but again same nib and section they write and perform the same my ypsilon here oh, and it looks like i'm getting ink all over it, is a older model i've had this for a really long time i think over 15 years you can see it here with the vanishing point it's a full-size pen let's do some measurements in terms of the length we are looking at about 138 i want to say it's kind of eyeballing it here about 120 millimeters and then posted these post really nicely and securely i'd say that's about one 49 148 millimeters in terms of the grip section at the widest point just before the metal ring 10.9 and just before this little raised ring here 8.9 and at the widest point 10.7 so nice full-sized grip section it does it does taper down to a thinner point but not too much i find this a really really comfortable pen and it's a pretty lightweight pen 
And so the I have a cartridge in here and it's about half full. So it's 19.25 grams, not too bad and uncapped 11.8. So it's not a particularly heavy pen, but you're not going to mistake it for a Bic either. You know, it's quite a nice full-size pen. It's very comfortable. So today's writing sample is going to be done on a Papermind Mitsubishi Bank Paper Notebook. These notebooks are really excellent with fountain pens, and for Blake's broadcast viewers and subscribers, you can get 10% off with code BB10 at checkout. Now, this is a Aurora style, and this is an extra fine, and this is Aurora blue. Now, Aurora inks for the longest time only came in blue and black, but they were and are probably some of the very best standard blue and black inks out there. They have really, really nice flow. So if you in particular have pens that maybe don't flow as well, that are a bit drier, these are really good inks for these. And they are just an excellent standard. I, I highly recommend them. Okay. I will do fast writing. Yeah, really no no performance issues to speak of. You know, Aurora nibs are so so good. Some of my favorites. There's you know a touch of feedback, but I would say actually this is on the smoother side for an extra fine nib. Now, in terms of flexibility, they are a little bit springy, I would say, but not really much in the way of flexibility. I mean, you can just get maybe a little bit, but I, I really don't recommend pushing on these. They're not really designed for that. Now, in terms of reverse writing, it's definitely scratchier, as you would expect. Ooh. It can do it. It's a pretty minor difference, but this does seem to be okay for reverse writing. Overall, really nice writing pen. I've had pens with this nib for probably close to 20 years. They're really, really good everyday writers, reliable pens. As far as a semi-budget kind of pen, this nib is really, really excellent. So what are my pros and cons for the Aurora Style Fountain Pen? The biggest pro for me is the price at under $100. I think this is an incredible value for an Italian made fountain pen. And I, at under 100, I really do think it is kind of unbeatable. And I say that because we have a very nice looking full size body with a distinct style to it. This chiseled tip and this curved clip, it doesn't look like any other pen out there. It has its own unique style, no pun intended. It's really nice. It's very comfortable. The nib is made in Italy. The whole pen is made under one roof in Torino, Italy. It's pretty special, especially at that $100, under $100 price point. Most Italian fountain pens have nibs made in Germany. Now, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's always better or preferable, in my opinion, when the whole pen is all made under one roof. And that's what you get here with this Aurora style. Now, it's you have a big grip section. This is a very comfortable pen. The nibs are excellent performers. I've had Aurora Styles and Ypsilons, which use the same nib for, I think, well over 15 years, and they are really reliable everyday pens. Uh, I travel with these a lot. They work super well. Uh, so just great everyday pens. Now, in terms of cons, um, let's see. The matte finishes um, can show some marks. So if you're worried about that, I personally like the look of it. I think it looks, gives it a patina. The more that you use it, it's more your own pen. So I think it's special in that way. But if you don't like that, I would definitely recommend going with one of the glossier finishes. Uh, the other con I would say is that the converter is not included and Aurora's converter costs, I think the retail price is maybe $25, but the street price is around $22. It's 
on the expensive side for a converter, not the end of the world, but it is an added cost uh, when we're talking about this pen. Now, with that also, again, proprietary cartridge and converter system, small downside there. Um, you do get big king-sized convert uh, cartridges, so those are really nice to refill uh, if you don't want to buy the converter. So very usable. I really like this pen. But that's pretty much it. Do you guys have this pen? Do you like this pen? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much. And until next time.